Uh, hello and welcome everyone so let's play around with these two collections user and post we have so how we can seed the data uh, from the code and how we can use the other methods of sqlize to insert the data so in previous video we created a relationship user dot has one post so uh, the user id user uuid is now a foreign key in the post collection so let's uh, create some data around it. So what I did is I created some JSON from generate data. I copy it and I will copy and paste it in this. So I already copied it. So this is the data which are, we are going to insert in the database. And now the columns will be name, email, password and address. So based, based on that we can update it. Name, email, password and address. For now, we are just talking about very basics. I mean, uh, later we will just talk about the most complex data structures, how we can associate the different tables, insert the data, update the data. There are multiple utility methods which SQLize is providing. So now, as we know that SQLize is a promise-based utility, uh, promise-based library. So dot sync first, then we can do dot then. This is the promise sync we have. Now on dot then we can also do user dot bulk create pass the data from we got the data from this data.json right we are just passing bulk create so now what i did is now id is primary key is auto incremented i mean i removed the uu id now name email password so let's see this when we run this it should be able to create the data so now if you see uh, our user collection it is full of data right there is user id now what I will do is I will use this user ID like we know that uh, the user ID will get created like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we can do promise chaining and we can try to create what we can do is we can try to create uh, posts also. So here we cannot do it like this. We just use bulk create utility user dot create and we just need to pass the JSON object. In the posts we have title and description and there is a user uuid also gets added title and description title is uh, title is this description is also let's put it in the double quotes and there is a user uuid uh, let me check this is we should use the same column name and user uuid is let's put it one uh, let's try this one if it is able to be able to do that you can see uh, let me just check user.create or uh, insert let's see if it is been created or not so data is not there we haven't saved it bulk create the data then uh, that is wrong oh user not not user i'm doing wrong here it should be post post dot is it done title description so it's inserted in the post let's see that in the database yeah you have this data right title and descriptions and uh, user id oh it's user id not user uuid let's correct that uh, it's user id okay because i changed the the schema recently right so i need to follow the new semantics earlier it was user uuid now it is user id only so because i put the wrong column name so it is not created still something is not correct here user id1 post.create uh, 